we have our multimeter turned on and we have our display lit and we're set to measure voltage for alternating current and we're going to be measuring for electrical power making it through this door switch so we have the switch closed because we have a magnet in place and so this is what the door switch looks like and so uh, with it closed we should have power being able to go through and we have one of our our probes over here on the common neutral bar and the other one we're going to place on one of the terminals of the switch between the spade connector and the switch itself so we measure zero volts there and let's measure back here and zero volts there so we don't even have power at this location so now we need to backtrack and go back up to the main electrical switch for the furnace. At this location, we're gonna to have to remove the two screws and measure for power. Now we're gonna place one of these probes on the ground uh, because we can either put the probe here on the ground or the common in order to measure for voltage. And then the other probe, we wanna be very careful not to touch both the ground and the hot, but we're gonna come back here close to the switch and we're measuring 124 volts there. We're gonna come down right along the plastic right there and measure at the other terminal and we have 124 volts here so we are losing our power between here and the door switch and so we need to go ahead and see why or where that's located at. So we remove this one screw from the top right here and we're just going to turn this so we can see this and we have turned the emergency power switch to the off position and so basically our problem is between these two terminals and that switch over there in the front and so this wire is good and here's our issue. And so you can see that that connector broke apart, so we would have to cut this off and put a new connector in its place. Uh, but just say that wasn't uh, the issue, uh, say this door switch was the issue, that could be a problem. I wanna point out that this right here, a lot of times uh, ends up having uh, burnt contacts inside and, and fails. And so you can also check this with electrical resistance right across here. So say we wanted to check the integrity of this switch, we would turn our multimeter to electrical resistance and that is the omega sign. Almost looks like an upside down horseshoe. And so we would check between these two points. And so you see that we're reading OL, that's open line, that means that the switch is open. And now I will close the door switch with my finger right here. And you see that we're measuring 0.0. .0. So that tells you that we have a good switch, but we could end up having a bad switch where we have a very high electrical resistance across it as if it's open even when it is closed. So that is something to, to keep an eye out for, for when you are diagnosing.